Okay, so I uh, was at uh, Walgreens today. Um, I went to get uh, a toy for our Toys for Tots toy drive at my office. Um, we're supposed to bring one toy. Uh, there was a specification that the toy uh, toys are, uh, kids who are older are often neglected in the toy drives. Um, so people bring in a lot of toys for little kids, toddlers, things like that. Um, like, um, you know, dolls and little kid puzzles and stuff. And then teenagers, uh, who are in uh, need of, uh, Christmas toys don't, don't, sort of are sort of left holding the bag I guess um so I thought uh baseball cards would be a really nice thing to get um I'm gonna give two of these to the toys for tots and then open one here um and then I got some other stuff that is not baseball card related um so these well, I'm gonna take the cardinals one because there's a Matt Holiday on the front and uh, this is one of these, I think this is probably one of these Fairfield Company, yeah, Fairfield Company. Uh, this product is guaranteed to contain 100 baseball cards and one manufacturer sealed pack. One in four packages on average include a hit. A hit may include games used on a card, the event used card, manufactured autograph or relic card. This product is, the product in this package may have been purchased directly from the manufacturer Okay, so they take the cards from the manufacturer or from the secondary market, and then they just package them up. I, don't, I mean, there's a pack in there. I don't know if you can tell. The cards are are sort of bowed already, um, but I, you know, I don't, I don't expect anything of monetary value. But I think there's a lot of interesting variety. I had fun opening a box of sort of repackaged Target cards. Um, they really glue these things down. Holy mackerel! Okay, let's see what we got. Inside there's a, I guess a encasing that's attached to the box on the outside. On the back there, there's a Cal Ripken. One of those all-star commemorative cards, let's see. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to get them all out in one, one go. Oh, and here's my uh, my Mad Holiday. All right, so let's put him up here. I got this board to put out the cards that I like in the packs. So we'll put that here. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay. I'm gonna do kinda, so the pack inside is a, oh, this is kinda cool. Uh, 1990 Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Uh, I'm really excited to open this pack, actually. Uh, I haven't, uh, opened a pack like this in 25 years or more. So we'll see what, what comes out of that. Alright. 92 score. These are all going to be, like, fun junk air cards. 92 score, 91 Fleer. Uh, we've got our Chili Davis. Chili Davis is a real staple, I think, of the uh, 90s cards. I just remember having so many Chili Davises. Uh, Willie McGee, this is an awesome card. I love this card. He is such a fantastic player, amazing speed. Uh, and... Um, I'm super excited to get this because I don't know when else I would ever pick this up. So I love that card. It's beautiful. Daryl Hamilton. Mike Woodward. Jim Acker. 1991 Upper Deck. Here's another Chili Davis. Speak of the Chili Davis. All right. Mariano Duncan. Jody Reed. Leo Gomez. Greg Riddick. I guess. Let's see who's on this. Uh, some of these checklists from Upper Deck were really, really cool. Let's see. This is a John Santana checklist. Justin Upton, that's a cool card from his D-backs days. 
Okay. Melky Cabrera. Gordon Beckham. Now, I always find this, putting the name of the player in, in uh, foil makes it really hard to read the name of the player on the card. Mark Burley. Here's that. Okay, John Burkett. Don August, Eric Hansen, Mike Sosha, Jim Clancy. That's a cool Mark Newfield card. I remember these this with this like sunset in the back. I'm gonna think about that one more. Here's a caricature, Sandy Alomar Jr. I just um, opened a pack the other day with a Freddie a Freddie Freeman caricature. It's in the tops. 2018 big league uh set um it's cool to compare the caricature you know this is from what year 1990 91 score i mean it's so cool to see that they're basically doing the exact same thing as they were then and i might later compare this to the freddie freeman um boy he looks giant compared to that Base runner. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, we've got some commons. Terry Pendleton, who I always like. I have that exact card um, over on my desk over there. Let's see. Just kind of flying through the stadium club. I, in my view, is the most beautifully made card. Um, this, this line of stadium clubs, I don't remember the exact year, but you know, it's like early nineties. Um, I just think they're so spectacularly beautiful. This is, oh, this is his rookie card. This is a 90 or 91. Um, I just think they're so gorgeous regardless of who the player is or anything. Um, I, I don't think they've come back to that level of card sophistication, at least that I've seen in any card ever since. Uh, I mean, I know folks will take issue with that, but that's that's my opinion. Um, let's see, Steve Lyons, Lance McCullers Sr., I guess. All right, Don Taylor, oh, Don Baylor, excuse me. Um, looking totally badass. Uh, that's a really cool card. You know, the, the early 90s Upper Deck 2, I think, are really well-designed cards um, with great photography, the sort of higher-end higher end lines of that time frame. There's another Bip Roberts. Bip Roberts is... Uh, I don't know if we had a Bip Roberts in this one. I was just looking at him a minute ago from something else. Bip Roberts is another one of those guys who I just had probably had hundreds of Bip Roberts cards. Um, this is a great action shot, too. The bat and the ball are in motion, and he's just sort of stock still in terms of the image. It's really cool. Uh, picture. 93 upper deck. Um, Dan Pasqua. Johnny Ray. Lloyd McClendon. Ariello Lopez. All right, so tops 2000, Kent Bottenfield. Bernard Gilkey, not on the Cardinals there, on the D backs. Yeah, I'm not going to flip these all around, it'll take too long. Bly Levin, Rick Manning, Gary Pettis. Oh, what a weird. What a weird card. How in the world? How in the world did this end up in here? This is literally a card of a kid. It says, his name is Brian Keyes. His team is Clearview Optical. Has anyone seen this ever before? Okay, I can't tell if you can read it. This is like a card that you'd make for Little League games. Why in the world is this in this in this box? 
Four foot seven, 65. Uh, don't know what to say about that. It's just super strange. Uh, why does the Fairfield Company have these? Let's put that there. Let's see what else. Rex Hudler from his non-Cardinals days. Kyle Abbott. Chris Carpenter. There he is on the cards. That's cool. Ah, there's Eddie Murray. You know, no matter what year it was, Eddie Murray looked exactly like that. His rookie card looks like that. I don't know what his final year card was, but it's like in the 2000s maybe even, and it still looks like that. He played for a long time. His rookie year was 77, maybe not in the 2000s, but pretty pretty far up there. All right, so let's see. So we've got this awesome Ripken 88 All-Star card. That's just a great card. This is a good pull for this kind of thing. This box was like five bucks. Um, beautiful. Really, really nice. All right, Clay Buckles, D. Gordon, Darwin Barney, and Tony Clark. All right, so, and we've got our, oh, actually, there's more. There is, there's a ton of cards in this. There's 100 cards per pet and a, and a pack, so let's go through these really quick. I thought I was done. Uh, some leader, team leader cards and team cards. Jojo Race, uh, a Mitch Williams rookie hologram. That's kind of sweet. There he is. There he is. There he is. Um, I haven't seen, like, one of these hologram cards in a little while. Um, Sports Flicks, I remember that now. That's cool. Love it. All right. Kurt Stillwell, Dave Hansen, Mike Vale, Kearney Lansford. Ted Simmons, Brewers, Tops, this is cool, Tops, and Moose Haas. These are Brewers batting and pitching leaders. This is sweet Reggie Sanders Diamond Skills card. Kevin Stocker. What is going on here? MLB Showdown card game. All right. Trying to make a game. Didn't really catch on, did it? Uh, John Henry Johnson. Can't remember this guy. But that's really a that's really quite a card with the afro and that kind of joking expression he has and the name. What a weird card. All right, let's see what else. Phillies leaders, Lou Pinella, Jimmy Williams, a lot of managers. Two Bob Rogers manager cards. Okay. Dave Lopez, Alex Trevino, Lance Johnson, Mike Lavalier. I'm saying only every third or fourth. You can see the Jimmy Key All-Star. That's it. This was another cool set. It almost looks like they were trying to some kind of throwback maybe it is i don't know i have a lot of card like x cardinals on this or pre cardinals uh mark Sullivan. all right so let's get to the pack this i am uh i really love this upper deck sort of line the line i remember opening these packs they're hard to open because they feel like they're almost vacuum sealed they're so i mean just listen There we go. Yeah, it's like a real foil paper. Um, it's not that it's not that uh, slippery foil um, or that cellophane. It's like actual foil. Um, I think these cards look so good. Um, the the early '90s upper deck. The photography is great. The layout of the card is great. All right, so let's see what we got. Todd Froworth. Kaminsk. Uh, this card is a badass card um, of Carlton Fisk. Holy crap. 
This is like uh, a intimidating, intimidating looking baseball card. Um, I love this. This is what I mean by the photography. It's like just stunning. The shadows on him, it's like almost like he's playing at dusk without the stadium lights or something. Um, or he's kind of backlit. Uh, I don't know. It looks beautiful. Um, you know, if any of you have seen like a Caravaggio painting with that dramatic shadow, you, you, you get this foreshortening with the arm, the really penetrating gaze as if he's sort of eyeing a, you know, a base runner or something like that. Um, the cool old school White Sox logo. And of course, it's Carlton Fisk, uh, who's a legendary player. Um, this is a spectacularly beautiful card um, that, quite frankly, you don't see this sort of card, uh, at least in terms of the imagery anymore. You know, it, they, they're not, it's almost a candid moment. Um, uh, you know, I, 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 there are a lot of sort of pose or, um, you know, you get the, the cards with the, 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 the player, you know, in his sort of prime moment tagging a player out or hitting a homer or, you know, making some dramatic catch. But, you know, this is a sort of almost intimate um, moment that the photographer has captured. Uh, Carlton Fisk. All right, so let's see what else we got. We got a few more. Um, Tim Belcher, Norm Charlton, Scott Terry. There's Vince Coleman. Love Vince Coleman. I don't have my picture of him here with me, but um, he's one of my favorite players. And I've got this little piece of paper that hasn't seen the light of day in 30-something years, so... Uh, this is one of these holograms. Uh, this is a Cincinnati Reds hologram. You can see me in the background. I'll try and move out of the way. actually quite hard to see um but you get the idea sorry for my bald head um i remember those holograms they're kind of kind of silly because you can barely see what the image is brett butler cool car mitch williams jose guzman All right let's take a look at this sandy alomar this is a i i remember this card so well it's just a um a great photograph. I mean, it's just a great portrait uh, of him in his um, sort of old school Padres uh, hard hat, hard helmet. Um, another really beautiful card. I mean, I think that's what these <clears throat> these upper deck cards excelled at. It was almost like it gives you a different feeling in terms of being right there with the player. All right, so let's see. Eric Anthony, um, yeah, he uh, didn't work out so well, if I remember, for Eric Anthony, um, but uh, this is a still a cool-looking card. It doesn't have the same, like, if you compare it to these, it doesn't have the same, I, I can't describe it, but it doesn't have the same, really, same, the same power as the Fisk or the Alomar cards. I don't know if that has to do with his, the way we think of Eric Anthony now. Um, if, if, uh, we think about him all that much, but it just sort of looks like he has this doofy expression off in the, off in the distance there. Um, but I remember this, you know, this card being like, gotta have it. All right, let's see. Two more. Rob Ritchie. And Sean Dunstan with this, the goofiest expression on a baseball player's face. Um, well, I've seen goofier, but it's, it's still pretty silly. Um, all right. This is, these are very fun packs to open. Um, I think they're, they're interesting. They have this nostalgic quality, obviously, because you're opening all these 
old cards. Uh, you get a lot of them. You know, I'm just a card guy. I just like to look at cards. Um, it's not totally divorced from the sort of renown or the skill level or the um, fame of the player. It's, but it's not completely based on that. And it's almost entirely divorced from monetary value. Um, this fist card will give you nightmares. Um, so I hope my idea here was to, you know, get these boxes. Maybe, maybe there's a kid out there who, um, he hasn't even thought about baseball card collecting, or maybe there's a kid who's dying for some cards and either way, I thought it'd be a nice thing to give someone, uh, this holiday season. Um, if I'm just going to pick a random toy for, um, uh, an older kid, maybe a teenager, um, I thought this would be, uh, a, a good one. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that's a, that's a box of baseball cards.